Hey everybody, Allegra here. When I make videos, I normally am trying to inspire and uplift people. So I don't really want to dwell on this topic too long, but I just want to have full disclosure. Last week I was late on my blog and video. Not that anybody really notices that much right now, but I'm trying to get on a consistent schedule. It's just easier. But I had a very sick daughter and then she got better and then before that my uncle died which was very sad and then my sister's two dogs died and then my sweet precious red bone died on Thursday which I'm not going to get into right now because it's it's still too hard for me I'm still I still reach out for her and I still try to feed her you know it's it's too hard and I want to pay her proper tribute but going through all the video footage of her is too hard right now so I'm gonna wait until I'm ready for that and just letting you know it's it is rough losing a pet it's rough lo losing family members and um, I don't know it's just last week was a bummer of a week so we're getting over that now and we're gonna move on to the happier stuff what did I do about the chicken dilemma? Did I get more or did I decide, no, I'm just going to stick with four? I got four more. We got four Buff Orpington. They are so stinking cute. So we got those. I have two little chicken nurseries set up in my art studio. One for the older Well Summer Chicks and then one for the little Buff Orpingtons. Four of each. So we're going to have eight. It was so fun. We brought the little well summers outside into the sun a couple times this week, seeing them run around and having the children in there. <laughs> they're so like, they're much more calm and in their element. So that makes me so happy. I'm really excited to put them in their new home when it is eventually done, which I got to work on. That was exciting and I've expanded it. It is so much fun building a chicken coop. I just, when I'm building it and putting it together, I'm just in my little happy zone. It's so much fun. We're getting more chores done this week. I'm very grateful for that. And we have got more cardboard. We're working in a counterclockwise fashion, getting the cardboard laid out and then the soil laid upon the cardboard for this garden. We still have to get the fence segments down. So I'm hoping that'll happen sometime this week or maybe next week, but hopefully soon because things are gonna start growing. I have been saying for the longest time that my husband is going back to work, which that was the plan, but he and I, we sat down and we talked about, okay, what do we need to do? What do we need to accomplish? And we wrote out all of our goals for this property here and what we want to do. So as soon as those things are done, he is going to go back to work doing something. We'll figure it out. But he's, you know, he's working on his own projects. I'm working on my projects. And, but we want to get into a position where he can be at work and I'm not like running around like a just complete crazy person trying to put things away. It's hard living in our cabin. Our organization is still very challenged. We're getting much better. But, you know, both of us are relatively tidy people. Brant is more tidy than I am, but living in a small space, it is, you have to, you have to retrain your brain to put every little tiny thing back. Even your coffee mug, it has to go back where it belongs, especially when you have two little children living with you or the place will turn into complete chaos before you even realize it. So Having a chaotic, messy home, it makes us crazy and it makes us unhappy. It, it just has this effect when you try to function and get your other work done, try to get your artwork done, your projects done, and your home is a complete mess. It, it doesn't happen and everything just falls apart. And right now, our yard just putting things together the, there's cardboard everywhere there's planter things everywhere there's wood kind of stacked up in little corners because we're working on it and we're building things but we don't have a place to store it so 
there's a bunch of projects that need to get done in order for me to stay home with our two children and him working. And that is our strategy is to make sure that everything is kind of in a zone where I can get up and spend the day with the children. If I need to make a video, you know, I can set aside time to do that when they're either napping or when grandma has them and get into a system that works for us so that uh, things don't fall apart. So that's what we're working on right now. And as soon as we have it to a happy little place, then Brant's going back to work. I've been able to do some sketching here and there this week. It's mostly been devoted to getting the hen house built, the garden up, and all of the things that I was just talking about. But I've been able to throw in a little bit of sketching at night or, you know, when we go out in the car, sometimes I'll, I'll bring my sketchbook with me and do, do some drawing. But I cannot wait to get back and work in the studio or when the weather gets warm to sit outside and do some drawing and work on some new artwork. So that is something I'm really, really looking forward to. That's pretty much the update for this week. If you want more details of some of the things that I was talking about, please check out my blog at allegrarosebrown.com. I will put the link below this video and you can also follow me on all the social media that I have linked below. And please feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I'm going through the process of doing a weekly Friday blog and a video that goes along with the blog. So I will have a video here every Friday and you will see our progress, you know, turning this place into a beautiful little homestead and art space. So thanks for watching and I will see you all next Friday. Bye.